My Irish brothers and sisters, what can we do? We march here today united in our shared humanity, frustration, grief, and outrage. This is not just a Palestinian struggle. This is a human struggle, a universal human struggle. A genocide is being perpetrated before our eyes. We see it, we hear it, we feel it every day for the past year. And we cannot, we must not, let it continue. Genocide is not an event. It is a process. And every day that we let it continue, we in the West are complicit. The International Court of Justice the highest court on the planet, with some of the sharpest minds, legal minds on the planet, have unanimously declared what many of us already knew to be true, are illegal, and Israeli apartheid exists, a crime against humanity. What more is the world waiting for? We are disgusted by the double standards and the hypocrisy of our politicians and our so-called world leaders who profess to uphold human rights and international law while aiding and abetting genocide and providing cover for genocide. We must upscale pressure on all our representatives, email, write, protest, disrupt, do not let them look away. Let them know that Palestine still is your most pressing issue. People of Ireland, you know what it is to resist occupation. You have felt the weight of imperialist boots on your soil. Your solidarity and strength is incredible, but we need more. Use your votes, use your money, boycott, divest, sanction. Look around you. We are many, and our power is in our collective action. The cracks are there. Every effort you have made so far is making a difference. The tipping point is approaching. Trust in that. Thank you, people of Ireland. You have stood with Palestine, and we are grateful. But this is an endurance test, and they are counting on you to give up. Yeah. This is yeah, when yeah. you double down. genocide. Stand up, speak out. If we give up on Gaza, we give up on humanity. And in the words of Bernadette Delvin last night at one of our screenings of our film The Teacher in Belfast, she said, we do not hope Palestine will be free. We know Palestine will be free.